Catherine Jenkins recalled having a disastrous lunch with Queen Elizabeth II. The monarch passed away at the age of 96 at her beloved Scottish estate, Balmoral, last week. Since her passing, celebrities around the world shared their best and most fond memories of the late Queen. The 42-year-old Welsh mezzo-soprano remembers being given an unusual course she didn't really understand while she was dining with the Queen at an intimate luncheon at Buckingham Palace when she was in her 20s. Catherine said the monarch was a maternal figure and assisted her in understanding what to do with the food placed in front of her. When I was in my mid-twenties I got invited to a small lunch at Buckingham Palace, she said during an appearance on This Morning. They brought round a course that I didn't really understand, with a water bowl and a piece of fruit and I was thinking, oh no this is a disaster. She added, I took a piece of fruit and held it in my hand. Her Majesty sensed that and in a maternal way, she was sort of like, follow me. You had to take the fruit and wash it in the water bowl and dry it with the gauze. Catherine went on to say that she's a big fan of Queen Elizabeth II and has great memories from singing God Save the Queen to her. Following her passing, the words of the national anthem have been changed from Queen to King. Catherine got a call from the BBC requesting her to record God Save the King. I got a call from the BBC and they said we'd like to play the first version of God Save the King, she revealed. There were a few of us we took a few minutes of silence and reflection and said a little prayer for the Queen before we recorded it. It was emotional. But we have to think of the future. She recently said it was a huge honor to be selected to record the national anthem for BBC Radio 4, which will be the first recording since the Queen's death on Thursday. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mirror Showbiz Newsletter. Catherine, who has performed for the royal family and the late Queen on numerous occasions, said, I have only the fondest memories singing the national anthem for Her Majesty the Queen, memories I will always cherish. While my heart is heavy with grief, singing this today for the first time is a huge honor and was sung with the belief that King Charles III's reign will be happy and glorious. Catherine recorded the song in a small church in a remote area of Sussex and took a moment of silence and prayer before singing from her heart. Singer Catherine has performed on a number of occasions for the Queen, including her 90th birthday celebrations at Windsor Castle in 2016. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207293033. Read more latest showbiz stories EastEnders Louisa Lytton shares unts. Celeb SAS star Shannon Courtney say. Jonathan Ross lands own travel show. Vanessa felt's not surprised one bit, 